What's up, everybody? Paul here with PTZ Optics, and we are so excited in 2024 to have a brand new API for our PTZ Optics Move SC, Move 4K, Link 4K, and Studio Pro IP cameras. This new API has everything you could imagine for controlling your PTZ Optics cameras. And there's a couple different versions of it. So I want to show you on the website where you can get the API documentation. And then we're going to show you how to use it. So many of you guys out there are using our PTZ Optics open source HTML uh, camera controllers for OBS and for your own custom applications. Well, those actually use the PTZ Optics API. And this new API will allow you to customize your projects to add really nice, awesome new features like auto tracking on and off and a whole lot more. So let's look at the website and see where you can get this documentation. So here we have the PTZ Optics website and under resources, there is a developer portal. And in this developer portal, you will find all of our documentation for our generation two cameras, for our generation three cameras. Now, in particular, the documentation I want to look at with you today is our HTTP documentation. And this is documentation that can be used in a standard web browser, which makes it very easy to implement. It makes it very easy to create your own control protocols, your own control systems, just using simple HTML, which is what we're going to go over today. So one of the great things about this documentation is that we literally have everything you can do in the PTZ Optics uh, web interface here from a PTZ control perspective, you can do, oh, it looks like auto tracking is on right now. Uh, you can do from the, your own control system. So if you want to just create a couple buttons specific for calling a preset or starting auto tracking, this is a really great way to do it. And I'm going to show you how this works today. And I'm going to show it to you working uh, right now, actually. So let's take a look at the uh, basically OBS. The reason why I want to look at OBS is because if you don't know, there is a PTZ controller for OBS that's quite popular for PTZ optics cameras. And this is a dockable controller. So you can dock the controls for PTZ camera controls into OBS. Uh, but what's new here is our auto track on and off buttons which work perfectly using the brand new API. And I'm going to show you how awesome it is in just a moment here. Um, and one of the things I'm going to do really quickly is show you a new feature with the Move SE cameras that will start the auto tracking from uh, the current location that, that it's in. So you can see here that we have this auto tracking mode. I'm going to turn that to track now and I'm going to hit apply. And in this track now option, when I hit auto track in this button here, uh, if we switch to the OBS interface here, oh, let me pull that up here, sorry. Uh, and if I hit track now, it's going to start auto tracking me right where I am. All right, here we go. There we go. OK. So the camera is now automatically following me just from a button that was clicked in the OBS interface. And I can turn auto tracking off. And there is a way, by the way, to turn off the overlays of that are going on the screen. But we just have those here for uh, kind of training purposes here. And so what I'd like to show is the fact that this right here is a simple HTML file. And these HTML files can be changed and updated. And that's the great thing about the HTTP commands here. So I'm going to open up this here. And I understand this is a little complicated. So we've done something interesting to help everybody with this, which is we have created a open AI. It just should be free to use uh, GPT. And so what this is here is, this is a link that you're going to find in the description of this video that you can go to to ask it whatever you want about PTZ Optics API, and it will create it for you. This is pretty cool. So what we can do here 
is I'm going to start a new chat and I'll just say, help me create a custom six button UI in HTML for pan, tilt, and zoom controls. And this is just an example. Um, and essentially, this chat GPT system already knows all about PTZ Optics's brand new API because I gave it all that information. And it will help you design your own custom systems. So it's really great. It, it, I have found that it works very reliably. You do need to double check uh, the work that is created by AI, but just wanted to show you guys that we have created this, uh, this tool for you to use, and it is fairly reliable. One of the variables that you're going to have to look at, though, as you're doing this, is the IP address of your camera. So the IP address of your camera is oftentimes in the web browser, right? So at the top of your web browser, you can often find your IP address. You can also find your IP address in the network tab of your uh, camera. And to reach your camera, you can go to ptzoptics.local forward slash to get to that. And once you have your IP address, that is the one variable you're definitely going to need to put into your, uh, your control protocols here. So really quickly, this is all of the brand new API. There's actually 26 pages. So it's almost five times as many options as you've had in the past for enabling SRT, for RTSP authentication. So you can, if you're a developer, this is everything you need to create your own control systems, your own control panels for PTZ Optics cameras. And I just wanted to share a couple things. Uh, so first of all, if you are on the developer portal, uh, one of the applications that we have is the OBS control protocols. So if we go to our applications, Hopefully, I can find this under applications here. Um, we have the OBS plugin. And when you download the OBS plugin, it will give you the, there's an actual plugin for OBS, but there's also these dockable controllers, uh, which come in a folder like this. And in this folder is where you will find a really great starting point to customize. And I'll, I'll show you for example, one of these. Here's one here. And this is a PTZ controller and it has some presets. It has pan, tilt, zoom. And in the preferences, you can load in the IP address of your camera. And not only can you control this, you can customize it to your, to your needs, but you can also dock and embed this into OBS. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. I'm gonna copy the address of this in the browser window. I'm going to go into OBS and I'm going to open up custom browser docs here and I'm going to call this a large controller and I'm going to paste it here. Now what that does is once that is, oh, I've got to type in large controller two, hit apply, that creates this controller inside the OBS interface. So I can actually put that controller right here. So if you've got two or three different cameras, you can have different controllers here. So you can see how I'm controlling this. Now, what is new is the auto tracking on off buttons. So I've just added those and I'm going to share the code with you on how to do that. But essentially, I went into the code here of my uh, computer. And uh, for this actual HTML page, and I added two buttons to the current setup. And those buttons are a little complicated to see here. So I'm going to try to find them for you uh, to show you how this works. Where are you, button? I guess I'll just have to search for it. Auto track. There it is. I created two buttons here. And I, I will share a link to this, this document so you can see it better. But auto track on and auto track off, these buttons have an on click that call a JavaScript function that's in the bottom here. And this was 
quite frankly, just written by ChatGPT and pasted it in here. So if you're trying to do custom work, I think you can save a lot of time by using this GPT that has full understanding of the latest PTZ Optics API. So you can see here, it created me as a little, a little code for controlling my PTZ Optics camera. And let's just see what it created for us. It's going to be kind of ugly in the beginning. Sometimes you have to um, make it a little better here, but we'll just quickly see what the heck it just created for us. We'll call this <coughs> test. And let's just open up what, the, what, it, what ChatGPT created for us. It created for us. I'm going to pull this over here a little bit so we can see this. It created for us something that has six buttons, pan up, down, left, and right. Now, as I said, the one thing we're going to have to change here is definitely the IP address that it is making these calls to. And let's give it a shot. So we'll go here, open this up. Let's see, is this the right IP address? Oh, it's 59. My fault. So let's go to 59 here and hit save. And when, as you save your projects and recreate them, you obviously need to. Oh, it's working. You can see it uh, moving there. So that is how to set up, that's how easily and quickly you can create your own projects. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, you can see here we are controlling PTZ Optics cameras. These are the building blocks that you need in the API to show you kind of how it works how easy it is to add some extra buttons to maybe what you already have, because now you've got your auto tracking on and off, plus tons of other features for the Gen 3 cameras. I hope that's helpful. We're going to put those links to uh, what we talked about today in the video description below, and we'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let us know. I'll also mention that this is the same API you can use to update and enhance your Stream Deck control as well. So look forward to a video on that in an upcoming um, video. See you later, guys. Bye.